Hi, I'm Peter Carlos. I'm Yoli Carlos. Uh, as many of you know, we lost our daughter 10 days ago. She took her own life in the middle of the night. Uh, and we just want to thank everyone who's been extremely helpful. We want to start with the police officers because they don't get enough thank yous. They've been extremely, extremely supportive. Quite a few of them uh, came by a few days later to give us their own personal phone numbers and you know, said it's okay to call us around the clock if you need help. They've been very, very nice. All three of her schools, uh, Hunting Hill Primary, Sacred Heart, and Melbourne Girls College have been very, very supportive, not just to us, but to also her, her students and her fellow Thanks. students that went together. They reached out to all the students. They had meetings to talk about this. And then, of course, we want to thank our family, our friends, and all the community people we don't yes. even know have reached out to us in, in, in terms of they've reached out to us via messages, uh, help, uh, financial help, which has been amazing, flowers, everything. Thank you so much. Thank you for so the much for that. It's, it's positive energy. What we're going to do with that positive energy is we're going to lay her to rest so that that positive energy stays with her and is there forever with her. And one thing we did find while doing all this, and the last thing we want to do is become poster parents of someone who lost a child. It's not about that. But we did find that when you mention the word suicide, people become very, very cautious. People asked us, should we say suicide? Should we do this? And then what happened is that we found that the word suicide has a lot of stigma to it and people get nervous. And if we, who are going through it in our own way, find it difficult to share because we worry about the community, what they're going to say, well, we worry about judgment about us. Yeah. If we worry about that, imagine how difficult it is for someone going through it. Yeah. Imagine our daughter that moment, the fear and the pain she was feeling that she felt like she couldn't reach out to not just us, but to anyone. Exactly. Yep. Because of fear of judgment, because of fear of how am I going to get through this? Especially if you already have a mental health or mental illness, um, it's extra, it's even harder um, to, to reach out to someone because you feel that there is no that other no way. Hope. And, and we, no we, we, we only wish she could see all the support that she had. Now, here's what's happened. Since then, we've received a lot of messages from people voicing out to us saying, I'm suffering, yep. my husband is suffering, my children are suffering. We've had so many parents let us know about their, 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 their children self-harming. And we asked them, where was this discussion before, before all this? Yes. Why wasn't this discussed? Because as a society, we leave very little room for people to share their weaknesses. We yep. just leave very little room for people to say, I'm struggling. What happens in, in a school society or in the corporate world we fear that automatically will be judged. Let's not invite that person to the boardroom mm -hmm. just in case they, something happens. Let's not bring them to the party just in case they start talking about the depression. And we find that we start to push those people away privately. Mm. And that has to change. We need to welcome those difficult conversations. Exactly. We need to, one, one person said to me, I feel like I just want to be embraced by cotton balls and hugged. That is so mm. beautiful, and that's exactly how you feel. Yeah. Right now, we struggle, especially at nighttime. We yeah. just want, sometimes we just reach out to each other and just hug. It's extremely painful what we're going through. The emotions manifest into the physical body, and it's bone crushing. Yeah. And we reach out. We do. And so if we can reach out, we are now going to set up a foundation we're going to call it Athene's Angels because yeah. we want to become angels and we want other people to become angels and reaching out to people that and are suffering that silently, are suffering and, silently. and if if we can show you that we're hurting right now and we're sharing you should feel okay to share your issues you should feel okay to share your pain and your struggles and your insecurities and sometimes you're gonna find you may not get exactly what you want but you, you will not, be heard you're you gonna be, be heard, heard. you can you, you may not get a hundred hugs you might get two or one but it's one step in the right direction because you cannot you cannot win this alone yeah you when people support. start going down their minds alone they get into all kinds of troubles and we're gonna reach out to people 
to help. We don't want to, you know, a lot of times you see people mm. when their child dies, they start a charity. No, we want to work with other charities. Yeah. We want to reach out to Beyond Blue, which is amazing, and to the, to the suicide hotline. At the end of the day, our daughter didn't reach out to them. So we want to talk and say, Why how can we help? That? What can we do? Especially for teenagers. Yeah. We want this to become your page. Your so platform. You, your platform. To so you reach out. Feelings. Could be anonymously. Could be, but it needs yeah. to be stated. It needs to be reached out. And we will do whatever we can. We'll bring on doctors and therapists and police officers and give advice to people also so you learn tools so when you are alone and yeah. you start going down that path you can hopefully pull yourself yeah, out back. of it yeah. and finally i find that the fear that people have is not as big as the reality Empty. of this situation yeah. so you're better off tackling the reality and making changes in your life some of them might be drastic changes so that you have a better life yeah, and that is our aim. This is that is our aim. Her voice we reaching are, out because yeah. no one should go through what she went through. No one should go through what, what we're, we're going, going through. through. And you cannot do this alone. Yeah. We're here to help. The community is help here to help. Your school, your friends, yeah. reach out, please. And, and we thank you. We thank you for, you for all the all support, support for us. Getting. And that's what we're gonna do with Athenis Angels. Thank you very much. Take care. Take care. Bless you.